Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, I wanted to focus a little bit more on Tank Life Leech because it seems like that is going to be the meta for this Mega Crab. Also, make sure to check out designbyhumans.com backslash the chicken guys for all your hashtag chicken merch, the hottest merch in Boom Beach. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, so I think we're going to be able to max out the Tank Life Leech tribe today. So, in order to do that, we're gonna have to take down some of these player bases first, but it seems. Um, it seems to be incredibly strong at a first glance, but let's just make sure that it actually is before we get too wound up about it, guys. Um, and let's let's get a battle orders going here like this. Now, the good thing about using all tanks and life leech is that since they heal up, the scorchers aren't as necessary because what the scorchers are really there to protect against is all of that splash damage that really adds up over time um, that you have to be very concerned about. Like you, ju you can't just have tanks going without medics. Um, up against rocket launchers and things like that, right? Or you're gonna have you're gonna have a bad day if that's your strategy. So, um, the ability of the tank life leech to just get some health back really makes a huge difference. Like it turns the tanks like it just affects everything because it allows the tanks to heal up without the use of medics. Since you're not using medics, you can actually um, since you're not using medics, you can actually use more tanks. So you're getting more damage. So you're running through stuff faster, therefore taking less damage. So it really uh, you know, it's really a huge, huge help um, to have the tank life leeches, especially with the tanks, a troop that, like, um, you know, you, you primarily use with either medics or scorchers or something like that um, in order to get by. So, there's the first base, guys. we got our supply crate as well. Now, let's see what that leaves us. Okay, boom, and boom, and... Oh, we already had it maxed out. So we already have tank life leech maxed out, guys, at 50%. Let's see what the information says for this. What are the tribes, commander? Okay, that doesn't help us out very much. Um, okay, so we can't click on anything in there to tell us what it does, but uh, I'm pretty sure just for each shot, they get 50% back of the damage that they're dealing in uh, in restorative health. So that's pretty um, that's pretty insane. That's pretty insane. This, the, the Life Leech tribe's definitely been one of my favorites just because it's so... Um, you know, it's kind of unique and it's just, it's just really different and, uh, I find it interesting. So, let's get rid of Brick. She's not going to be the best to use with this when we're actually going on the Mega Crab. I feel like either, um, Spark or Bullet are probably going to be your best options. Let's go with Bullet and the Shock Knuckles. That's going to be a pretty excellent strategy, I feel like, for the Hellowed Crab, you know, around stages 1 to 30, something like that. So, this... So right now we have a Grappler. Now, you might be thinking, Chicken, the Grappler is going to pull Bullet in and your raid is going to be over. Not so fast, my friends. Not so fast. Watch this. So the grappler's going to pull bullet in before we actually lose the delay of the shock launcher. And look at that shock knuckles we're able to get off, guys. That is insane. So let's go like this. Let's shock that grappler now that we have bullet up there. Uh, we'll see if we can get another shock knuckles off with him. Um, there we go. So we're going to shock everything in front of us. Um, looks like he's about, at about, what, half health? Okay, so we'll get one more shock knuckles. And we actually hit a couple of our tanks there. I was hoping he was going to face the other way for us, but... Uh, we were not so lucky. So let's go ahead and take out this guy. And we'll throw some shocks in over here and over here. And now let's just get some critters going on this side and on this side, guys. Um, okay, so we'll go critters right up this way. Okay, so now we got tanks coming in from all angles. And let's go with a shock right on top of that boom cannon and that other cannon. And it's, it's just that easy, guys. It's just that easy. We're just rocking and rolling. We're plowing through everybody with the tank life leech. Um, let me know down below in the comments, guys, what your favorite opening strategy is for the Mega Crab. That's kind of what we're going for today. It's like a Mega Crab practice slash training because I feel like this is probably going to be the best, um, if not the best strategy to use right out of the gates for the Crab. Okay, so let's find another one. Let's find another one over here. We got lots to pick from. Way down at 580 VP. I would like to eventually get this back up. Um, okay, so what do we got to do for this one, Chicken? Now, this can be tough because we have those Shock Blasters to deal with. Shock Knuckles is not the best to go at the uh, the Shock Blasters, for sure. Because he's Bullet's just basically going to remain frozen until we can um, until we can Shock everything here. We did get a really good Shock right there, so let's go like this and like this. And just clear some of those critters and kind of allow Bullet to get in there with the Shock Knuckles. Look at that. Look at that. That was like the redirection. He juked the, uh, the, he juked the first Shock Launcher. Okay, let's get another Shock one in up here. Now, I mean, if you're gonna have three shock blasters, you probably shouldn't put them all back to back to back. Now, I'm hoping Bullet will turn and go for that uh, shock launcher on the left. Looks like he might. Okay, now he's going back up the gut. He doesn't know where he's going, guys. Let's go like this and like this. 
get a couple barrage and artilleries, and now we're going to go ahead with a, uh, with Mr. Bullet, like that, and like this, okay, there we go, and there it is, we clear out the whole base, this is insane, man, like, I know some of these bases I'm taking on are not really that, uh, are, are not that impressive, because I'm at such low VP, but this guy's got a pretty good amount of ice statues, and we just rolled right through all of his shock blasters, something that tanks would typically really heavily struggle against, so... It's gonna be, it's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be good. I can't wait for this Mega Crab. I hope you guys are excited, and, um, and yeah, that's basically all I got for today, guys. I think we're just gonna keep it to a shorter video for now. Um, but yeah, let me know what you're feeling for this high-load Mega Crab, guys. What your, uh, what your favorite tribes are gonna be. We also have the Zooka damage. The gunboat energy is gonna be huge. A lot of people ask me what statues are gonna be best. Again, uh, for the Crab, since, you know... Armored units are usually always the safest bet. They're not always the best for each base. Of course, you're going to get your heavy Zooka and your rifle Zooka um, bases in there as well. So, it, the operation statues will work, and you'll see most high-level um, crab finishers will probably have, um, you know, like a 6-4 or 7-3 kind of setup. But, from my experience, you know, it's been a lot better to have a lot of troop health, a lot of troop damage, and a little bit of GB. Now, since we have the supplemental Gunboat Energy Tribe, uh, gunboat energy to play with that's gonna be that's gonna be lots so once we get a little bit of a boost going and since we're gonna be using less scorchers we're gonna have lots of gb to play with so i'm not worried about only having the two statues having the eight red statues combined with the life leech i think that's gonna be huge i think our tanks are gonna be doing some crazy work i think we're probably gonna get depending on if the pumpkin mortar comes back i feel like we're probably gonna be able to get as far or farther than we ever have before in an opening um uh, mega crab stream but we all we do the mega crabs all in one stream now anyway so um it's gonna be exciting man it's gonna be exciting i can't wait to see it um what the crab is gonna bring so guys um thanks so much for watching that is gonna wrap up the video today make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting entertaining or informative and we'll see you next one guys chicken out perfect